Today we're working in a, a residential property that actually straddles a portion of the uh, Toronto Ravine uh, network. Um, and we're protecting against the emerald ash borer. Uh, this is a huge problem that first came to North America in 2002 and it's already wiped out millions of ash trees. Um, and we're, we're really seeing the damage here in Ontario now. The ash is a, is a really important part of the Toronto tree canopy and we do see it in a lot of the ravines. Um, so we're here today to save these trees. Just to give a bit of information about the emerald ash borer, it's a small green beetle. It's going to come along, look for an ash tree. It's going to start to feed on the leaves of the tree um, and then it will lay its eggs inside the bark crevices of the, of the tree. Uh, these eggs are going to turn into larvae that begin to feed in the sapwood of the tree. So once it starts to feed through that sapwood, uh, no more nutrients or water are going to pass through the canopy and the tree will rapidly decline and certainly die. In terms of how we deliver the, the, the product, it's injected into the tree. So there's a, a, a small hole that is drilled into the base of the tree and then there's a, a canister of product that, we're, that we attach onto a small spout and it has consistent pressure that pushes the product into the tree. So once an ash tree is treated, uh, we've had excellent results. Uh, we've been able to eliminate uh, the EAB infestation, and as I said, we prevent it from spreading in that area. Um, if, if ash trees are not treated you know, in, in here in the city of Toronto, in the next 10 years, that ash tree will be dead. So if you have a nice, uh, healthy ash tree in your backyard today, um, if, it, if it's not treated, EAB will eventually kill that tree. Uh, so the only way we're going to get past this is if we start to treat our trees.